Hi, I'm Donna Barnes. In this clip, I want to tell you how to turn a hookup or a booty call into a relationship. And I first need to tell you that that's not easy. It's easier if you just delayed bringing sex into a relationship when you really hot for somebody instead of sleeping with them right away, let them date you for a little while. But having said that, if you're watching this, you've probably already slept with them and now you're trying to go backwards, which is very hard to do. But first and foremost, you have to stop sleeping with him or her and you need to not be at their beck and call. If he calls you last minute and is like, hey, let's grab a drink together. And now he's not even really, you know, inviting you to do things with his friends or his family. And you're not really even having a meal together. The only thing you ever do together is have a drink and then have sex. You're a hookup, you're a booty call. And that's certainly not a relationship. So you need to take a step back. And if he wants to get together with you and it's last minute, you need to say no. You need to say, oh, I wish, I, sorry, I already made other plans. And do not jump for him. I don't care how much you're dying to see him. Keep in mind that you teach people how to treat you. So if he can call you at the last minute and get to see you, then you've taught him he doesn't need to make plans with you in advance and he probably never will. But if every time he tries to get together with you, you're busy and ideally, because you just are busy. Make plans, go out with your friends, do other things. Do not be sitting home by yourself waiting to talk to him. Actually date other people. Get out, get on Tinder or something. It's a great app actually. And um, put in your profile that you're not looking for a hookup and that you're really looking for a relationship and then go out and date. Do not sit home by the phone being available for him. And if he's trying to get together with you and you're not available, the way you respond is, oh, sorry, I already have plans, but I'd love to see you suggest another night. How about Thursday? So, and see if he'll engage. And if he really does want to see you, he'll have to start thinking of it in advance if he can never get you on the same day. Invite him to do stuff with you. You know, if there's a family picnic or your friends are getting together, ideal your friends first. Bring your friends in before you bring your family in. But invite him to do things with you or in, in offer to make dinner for him and see if he'll come. And if he declines everything that you invite him to, that's a sure sign that he's only really looking at you for sex and that he's not really looking for a relationship with you. So you really just need to cut it off and tie, you know, you're going to keep yourself addicted to this person. If you keep continuing hooking up with him and giving him sex, giving him what he wants while well, you're not getting what you want and you should look at it that way. What you want is a relationship with him. And if you're not getting that need met, then he shouldn't be able to get his needs met, which is sex. And I know that sounds really demeaning or it should sound demeaning to you, but you need to look at it that way. So invite him to do things with your friends or make dinner with him to do more relationship type activities. And if he declines, then the next time he wants to go just have a drink with you, which always ends up in sex, you need to decline. You teach people how to treat you. And if you want him to respect you, you have to command respect. And if you've already had sex with him, he may have not ever developed respect for you, but you might be really hot and sexy and he enjoys having sex with you, but that's the extent of it. And you need to be more than that. So, I mean, once you're in a relationship with somebody or you've been seeing somebody, it's okay if like at noontime they go, oh wow, my day's looking pretty light. Are you free tonight? You want to have dinner? That's okay. You can do that. Have dinner, but don't just have sex. If you go to dinner and you end up spending three hours together and then you want to go have sex with him. Okay. That's okay. But it should be more than that. It shouldn't just always be on the last minute. Now, having said that, Men don't always plan. Women are more planners for the most part. So a lot of men really do only think about like, you know, it's getting near happy hour and they go, oh, wow. Yay. It's the end of the day. What do I want to do? So, you know, if you have not been able to get together with them at all, when you do finally get in his company, you could say to him, Hey, I really enjoy your company. And I know that you're crazy busy, but if you could give me just a little bit of a heads up more before we get together, then that would be helpful. So he'll learn that if he wants to be with you, that he has to make a plan in advance and 
it's much more attractive someone who has their own life and is independent and doing their own thing and is much more desirable than someone who's always available and just sitting home by the phone. So if you try to get him to do things with you and you don't jump at his beck and call and then he never does come around, please let go and please stop having sex with him and please recognize that he is not good enough for you because he didn't recognize how amazing you are and want more from you than just sex. I'm Donna Barnes, Relationship Coach.